Yeah, I, I, I'll say it as many times and as, as I need to. I don't care that she's 5,000 years old. Okay? I don't care. She looks like an 8 years old and this shit's awkward, man. Subscribe, please. All right, so we are getting, we are getting some events after the November twentieth, which is gonna be today or tonight, I guess. Uh, so obviously, as always, we're getting the enhanced pickup costume uh, reward. Essentially, like by pulling once, you get free tickets. If you get a costume, you get ten. Every copies get you ten more. So that's classic. We get the marry me login event. So it's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, season pass, uh, that's cool, with all of the pass reward, obviously, the daily missions you have to do. We get an Allstein character pass, so if you don't have him, that's a good time to get him. It, it, it's nice that, like, every patch, or, like, every big patch like that, we essentially get, like, a free character, essentially, a free costume, I should say. Uh, so we can get the Finn's color Allstein here, and we have the season event boosting mission event here. Okay. Fair enough, so those are the multiple events that we're actually uh, getting after the update today. But we should also have the patch note somewhere. Is this... Does that cover the patch note? Yeah. Okay, so we're getting the season event rerun, rerun Marry Me. I already talked about it uh, a lot because those have all been announced for a long time. Uh, so we're getting... I'm not gonna cover everything, but yeah, essentially we're getting the rerun of that. Uh, blue beard is gonna be darkness. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, we're getting the event shop, obviously. So as per usual, we get like some draw tickets, we get some tier of goddesses. Uh, we get a, a, a UR gear if you want to grab that. The ancient crystals are very nice to have as well for crafting purposes. So, there it is. Um, anything else we're getting? Oh, yeah, we're getting the runs. We are getting the new Queen of Signatures, Mikaela. Uh, we're getting the rerun of Pure White Blessing, Rafitea. Uh, as well as Red Hat Rue and Robin Hood Zenny. So, the only new one here is going to be Mikaela, right? Um, we're getting the official first uh, season of the Tower of Salvation, which is cool. Um, we have some new score achievements. Uh, necessary for those uh season rewards actually this content is something i almost never do so i should definitely get into that because i'm just too lazy ah there it is there it is now we have the information about the costume what does she do all right uh so it's a skip and it's a cross Ooh, cross skip that's gotta be, uh, that's gotta be... Cross skip is sometimes a little bit awkward. Because, okay, let's put it this way. The cross is already, quote-unquote... I don't know what I said. It's kind of hard to use, let's put it this way, right? And on top of that, it's a skip. So it doesn't hit the first target, it's gonna hit the second target. So it's like a second target with a, a bit more difficult to use um, range, or like area of effect. Which, uh, gonna have to, to play around that, uh, but it, it might make it sometimes a bit difficult to use. But I'm sure against certain bosses and their weak points, it's gonna be very strong, right? Alright, uh, and she has a diagonal back to the left, uh, not back, okay? So, her ability at plus zero is 3 SP, which is relatively low, and the cooldown is 7 turns, which is relatively high, I guess. Uh, but if we check Mikaela here, let me see, costumes. Uh, Mikaela, Mikaela, Mikaela. Uh, there she is. Her first costume's cooldown is actually very low. Um, it's a one turn cooldown. So essentially that means you can use that and then you can go back to spamming this one if you want. Um... So it's not that bad. It's not like you use their her two abilities and then you can't play with her whatsoever. Okay. Um, attack the enemy three times, dealing magic damage based on 100 180% of your magic attack. Additionally, ally SP decreases by six points.
I think this means that this is a PvP thing. A lie SP? This feels like a, an issue in translation. I think this means that if you're in PvP, this removes the enemy's SP? Or, I mean, maybe it works against bosses. I don't know if, um, if monsters technically have SP. I'm not sure. Because this can't be your own, right? It removes your own? So she has a 9 SP cost? Uh, at plus 1, it's 2 SP. 7 turn. 220, 260, 300, 340. Cooldown reduced by 4 turn! Yeah, I know that she has HP drain, but like... So what I'm wondering if maybe you just want her to be the last character to play. Because if she's the last character to play, and you only have 2 SP left when you use your ability, then you're not removing anyone's SP, right? So I feel like this is probably more manageable than the HP drain. Um, because here, if you make her act last, and you, then you're not wasting SP, right? So I assume, like, for example, if you have, like, 3 SP and you cast this ability, then she's gonna drop at 1, and then uh, you lose 6 more points, so you go to 0, right? I don't think there's any, like, negative SP points. So I feel like this is a bit more manageable. I feel like it's annoying. I, I, I think it's annoying, but it's manageable. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think about her. It just, I feel like it's its too bad, because, like, I just... I, I don't want to bother. <laughs> it's like everything's annoying. Like, oh, she drains her HP, now she drains the SP. The AoE is weird. The, I don't like it. I don't know, man. I'm a bit disappointed, I think. I wanted something a bit cooler. Um, That's pretty much it. We get the reruns, and this is the entire schedule. We kind of already had it before. So... Uh, yeah, we already had it before, so I don't have anything to say about that. How y'all crunch his data so well? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So... <sighs> yeah... I'm... I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. That felt a bit bad, because I, I really like her design in general. She's uh, she's a beautiful lady. I like gray hair, so... Yeah, anyway, let's look at her costume PV real quick. <laughs> There's something so cool about her just having a massive fucking bazooka. Ah! The heat is too much! It will! Oh wait, did you did you see the face expression? <laughs> She's like normal face. Yandere, I'm gonna kill you. Arara. And gas mask with paw prints. <laughs> like chilling in a gas mask, hell yeah. Yeah, I I I'll say it as many times and as, as I need to. I don't care that she's 5,000 years old. Okay? I don't care. She looks like an 8 years old and this shit's awkward, man. Yeah. That said, the Aria map, I, I didn't play the original one, so this is my, my first time... This is gonna be my first time going through this map. It looks adorable. It looks like a hobbit village. And like here, she looks so cute. Just the skill animation is so weird. She's just like, ah! She's like, feet up in the air. It's like she's like, she wants the honeymoon. I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good. You're my daughter. You ain't my wife. Get out of here. I'll adopt you. Like, what is this? This is too much, man. I don't like it. 
And she's like, oh, we husband and wife. I just, it's so awkward. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hating. No, I'm not sorry. You know what? I think it's weird. Interesting tentacle monster. Is you and me, daddy? No. No. No, I'm good. Yeah, uh, so anyway, I mean, I, I definitely want to get at least one copy of both of them. And, I mean, Rufitia is a cutie pie. The, the only thing I don't like is the, like, the way she's like, uh, really husband and wife now with, like, these specific, like, skill animations. It's just a bit weird. I, this is just the part I don't really like. Like, uh, it's not incredibly sexualized, but it's still, it's still weird. It's still a bit weird to me. Anyway, yeah, uh, I actually don't know what she does. Um, but uh, in terms of um, Michaela, I... As I was saying before, I'm not convinced. I am not convinced for sure. But uh, we'll have to see how she actually performs in-game. Definitely gonna have to try that out. Um, but yeah, let me see. Rafi there she is. So what does she do? Uh, 3 SP, 1 turn cooldown, it's a cross range, uh, she has a forward knockback, actually, interesting. Uh, and it's a self. Property damage increased by 40% for 2 turns. Additionally, for 2 turns, each attack at 1 additional chain stack. Additionally, create an energy guard equal to 20% to target maximum HP for 2 turns. Okay, and she has an SP reduction here. Um, property damage increase. Property damage is very good because, um, it doesn't care about, uh, Physical or magical, it's just it increases your damage. So she's pretty universal in terms of damage buff. So that's cool. Uh, bone stats, HP percentage, defense percentage. Okay. Um, and she gets energy guard, HP. Skill upgrade. Oh, is one of her upgrade literally getting an energy guard on top of things? Oh yeah, I didn't see. Create an energy guard equal to 20%. So she can have an energy guard up to a increase of 50% of maximum HP for two turns. And then the range increase to 3 by 3 So essentially instead of being like a cross like this, it's gonna be a longer cross. Okay. Oh, no, 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 never mind. No, no, 3 by 3 It becomes a square. Okay. Um... The same costume in the games that increases property damage. The only costume in the game that buffs allies chain stack other than the MB Celia, who only buffs herself. Chain stacking ability works at full power at plus zero, and no investment potential is necessary to make good use of her. No cooldown on skill. Uh, can be reapplied every turn with no downtime. True. And the cost is pretty low, too. I mean, it's relatively low at two, right? Once you get plus one, which is probably what, what you want to get to make sure you'll be able to use that. Also, let's be real, you don't need to reapply it every turn. You can reapply it um, every two turns whenever the, the skill goes away. Uh, the only one, the only time you want to reapply it is potentially if you do need the energy guard. But that's kind of fine. Uh, the second unit in the game that have to have reverse note back. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Reverse note back is very, very cool. I appreciate that. Um, high ongoing SP cost. This buff needs to be reapplied every turn. Wait, does it need to be reapplied? Property damage increased by 40% for two turns. Oh! Is it one of the things where, like, you have your turn, and when the enemy has their turns, it counts as a full two turn? Like, even enemy turns kind of start? Okay. So you you might have to actually reapply it every turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I got confused there. Yeah, that, that can be high. That essentially, that's like 2 SP that gets funneled into her every single turn, potentially. That's pretty high, yeah. Uh, property damage buff is not as good as Diana. Diana, yeah, true. Uh, limited buff range. Energy guard is nice, but not very strong compared to other buff, even with potential boost. True. As I was saying earlier, energy guard, I mean, it's nice. Like, I was like, oh, if you can't reapply, it's no problem, right? Because it's like you rarely care about energy guard. Uh, but it's still pretty good. And the thing is, like, yeah, obviously Diana's buff is stronger, but if you look at Diana... Uh, let me see. Where is our little Diana? Whoops. There she is. If you look at Diana, her... The Adventure of the Unknown here... 
it does cost more. Now the thing is that even though it costs more, I mean the cooldown is very long, but the buff lasts for a long time, long time, right? The aura. Now the thing is that even if it's not that much, the reduction of one SP might make her a bit more viable. I'm not saying she's better. I'm saying that she definitely has some use. And because she also shield, I, I could see her being useful in PvP, for example. Um, that's what I'm saying, right? And, and so, I mean, there's its uses, right? And Diana, you also need to be, you need to stay in the aura for it to function. Meanwhile, here, it's apply in the square, and uh, you're pretty good with that, right? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's alright, and she's cute here. Um, I don't really know if I really want to use it a lot. Breathy? What's breathy? Like bright breathy area? Oh, blessing breathy area. She's basically used in the most in most end games modes. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like the the stacking is gonna be very good for the chain stacking. So definitely gotta get her for sure. Can we have you place all the buffer? Uh, self only chain damage. Yeah. All right, where to use Refi? Last night high scoring, obviously. Absolutely essential for last night. Um, last night, the, the thing with last night, the game mode, is that you need so much chains. Uh, chain stacking essentially makes uh, your score go way, way up, right? So she's going to be very, very strong for that. Changing story battle and fin hunts. Um, okay. Not great for Tower of Pride, not between your team to stack multiple buffers, fair enough. And not good for PvP. Oh, because property damage is very situational. And chain damage makes very little difference, and her SP cost of keeping is unfoldable. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, because you have to reapply it absolutely every turn, that's pretty bad, yeah. Alright. Well, okay. Uh, anywho, what else do we have here? Uh, we saw everything, so yeah, I... Uh... I mean, she's adorable. I definitely want to get a copy of her. And then definitely at least want to get a copy of uh, Mikaela. Do we have anything else that I might have missed here? No, I think that's pretty much it. Right? So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm definitely going to try to get a copy of each. I'm kind of I'm kind of out of resources at this point, though, to be honest. So we'll see if I can figure it out, if I can make it work. Otherwise, it will have to wait. Anywho, that's my thoughts. Cheers.